auxiliary case. Lift up the rear cover assembly of auxiliary case. Firstly, install part of the assembly and adjust the space between rear cover and main case housing. Then push in but not knock. Then set bolts around the rear cover as there are totally three types of bolts. The five longer ones are set at the convex part of the cover and the shortest one is set at right side of the outer cylinder and the left ones are the same. Screw down the bolt around the rear cover. Remain two bolts loose, which will be used for pin-up wing pipe. Rotate the flange when installed, which is good for main shaft gear and drive gear meshing. When install bearing cover of input shaft and the gasket, do avoid from the oil hole and set the two bolts with holes on the top so as easy to install the return spring of the release bearing. Then set and screw down the left four bolts in turn. Installation of clutch housing assembly and gasket. Install the gasket in advance, then the clutch housing. Set six flat gaskets, and then install six self-locked nuts. Find out two long bolts and two short bolts. Gelatinize and then screw them separately. Check if the main case gears can rotate freely and the three sliding sleeves are at the neutral position or not before installing the top cover. And don't forget to set the gasket. Lift the top cover assembly and make sure that the guide block is at the neutral position. When close the top cover, prevent the gasket from mislocation. Set the two long bolts and hoisting ring at front and rear ends of the top cover. And coat glue on top cover and bolts at the perforation of housing. When you fasten the bolt, follow the diagonal sequence. Leave the two bolts with flat mat loose for fixing the windpipe later. Install four double head bolts on the top cover with the thin thread upwards and thick thread downwards and coat glue on the thick thread. You can fix it with two bolts. Check up the status of shifting. When guide block is at neutral position, the double-edge assembly can be installed. Add gasket on the window of top cover. Install double-edge assembly and make sure that the striking finger and shifting arm are vertically downward set on the top cover and fixing the windpipe. Take two hex angular locating bolts with the cone face downward. Install them onto the two by end bolts of the double-edged housing. Then install spring gasket and hex angular nut onto the other two by end bolts. Screw down locating nuts. Screw down hex nuts. Use two flat nuts to fix locating nuts. Clamp the four wind pipes. Connect the low speed wind pipe with union of cylinder. Connect the pressure adjusting valve with inlet pipe. And fix it on the cover of cylinder with two 6x50 bolts and then connect high-speed wing pipe with union of cylinder. Check up the wing pipe. Over pressure and speed fluctuation is not permitted. Let six bolts to revit the brake of auxiliary shaft with gaskets in between. Assembling transmission ends. Rotating push shaft, check if shifting is flexible. 
Check the air pressure. Hold truck air pressure is 0.8 mp. Getting through the air pressure adjusting valve. The air pressure is dropped to 0.41 to 0.44 mp. The double H valve distributes the air pressure to low speed or high speed shifting cylinder to realize low speed and high speed switch of the synchronizer in auxiliary case.